Hey, welcome to Life with Miss D. Today is Tuesday and we're going to have tacos tonight, okay? I had a taste for some tacos, so here's my ground beef. I have some old El Paso taco shells. I wanted the crunchy shells tonight. I got my lettuce and tomato that I'm going to have to cut up. I got my taco seasoning, mild, and then I got some cheese. And we're gonna just go do some quick tacos. Let me wash my hands. I just got off work and I'm hungry and I want something quick and simple. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna open up this uh this is the ground beef 80 percent lean so we'll open this up and i got my skillet on medium So we'll brown this ground beef up and then drain off the excess fat, season it with the taco seasoning, and we'll have us some dinner. Little mashes that I bought. I got that Walmart. So we're just gonna let this let this brown. My camera is a little wobbly. <laughs> so I'll be right back after I let this brown. I'm seasoning it with some onion powder. But I believe <clears throat> onion powder is already in the seasoning mix, I'm sure. It's got corn starch, salt, chili pepper, onion powder. Yeah. So that's already in there, but I put a little extra. And I'm not going to use this whole packet because this packet is supposed to be used with, let's see, one pound of ground beef. But normally I don't use the whole packet. I normally use maybe half because I don't want it too salty. So we're just browning the ground beef. And it doesn't take long to brown it. And you see it's got a lot of fat on it. You can see. So I'm going to drain it off. And I'm cooking it on a medium high heat. I got my oven on 400. Because what I like to do is I like to um, heat up my taco shells. You can use soft shells or you can use the hard shells. And today I just got a taste for some hard shells. I think I went last week at Mexico Chiquito and had some tacos. And I said, you know what? I need to just make some at home. It'll be cheaper. It just doesn't take long at all to brown. That's why I like tacos, they're pretty quick. A quick weeknight meal when you're tired and you just worked all day, you want something to, to eat. I'll come right back. Okay, so my ground beef is brown. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Let me find a strainer. 
hate to dirty up another dish. Here's my strainer. I'll go ahead and drain it over here at the sink. All right, I'll be back. So I get a paper towel and I kind of also pat it with a paper towel. And I also just kind of get all that oil out the skillet and pour it back in that skillet. Now I put the taco seasoning on it and it says you're going to put how much water? Three fourths cup of water once you um, pour the taco seasoning over it. Make sure you can see that. I think you can make sure. Okay. Okay, I didn't use all of it. But anyway, there it is. Okay, so let me make sure I turn that fire back on. And let me get three four cup of water. I might need to put more seasoning. We'll taste it and see. I don't want it to be too salty. Now this is three fourths cup of water. I may not use all three fourths because I didn't use all the seasoning, but we'll see. I think I use, I think I use um, about half cup. I, I think I use about a half cup. I didn't use. And so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. pepper I cut the fire down um let's see how long Let it keep cooking a little bit more and simmering. See, this is what I hate about the hard taco shells. I cracked one, I broke one. But anyway, I'm gonna heat these up in the oven. So I'll heat up about three. Heat in the oven. And you can do it in the microwave. I prefer to do it in the regular oven. You can put it on a cookie sheet. Just put it in the oven. And it don't take long on 400. You don't want to overcook it, so maybe a minute or two. It don't take long. Just to heat it up. lettuce and tomato okay I chopped my lettuce and tomato off camera and my taco shells are out the oven I have my ground beef and it's ready so I'm gonna fix me a taco and that'll be my dinner for tonight on a Tuesday taco Tuesday I don't know if you guys prefer soft tacos or the hard tacos or crunchy tacos just let me know in the comments if you prefer the soft or the crunchy and let me fix my taco i'll be back i found some sour cream also in the refrigerator so i'll get my taco assembled i tasted it the taco meat and it looks like it may need a little more seasoning so i'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning because 
I guess with this being the mild, it, it needed more. But normally, I guess if I get the regular one, it won't need as much seasoning. Yeah, that's the mild. Okay, I got some taco salsa that I may use, and then I got just some taco sauce as well to put on the tacos. Okay, so I got my taco. I just put the meat first. And I normally put a little sour cream. These are the tacos that stand up on their own, which I like that. <laughs> These tacos stand up on their own. I do like that. It's the shells that stand up on their own. It's called the Old El Paso stand and stuff tacos so they stand up let me get um a knife a fork and my hands are clean but i'll go ahead put a little sour cream Sour cream. The squeezable sour cream is really convenient. It'll squeeze right out on it. I don't have a, that kind today. And then I get my lettuce. Stuff it down in there. Tomato. Taco sauce. Cheese. Let me get this cheese. Let me get this open. Guess I have to cut it. Tear it good. Let me cut it some more. But you get the idea. Who hasn't had tacos? It's such a quick, quick, easy meal. So there's the cheese. There's the cheese. Okay, so there is my taco. And I didn't want to be on the video because, <laughs> but I guess I could take a crunch. Take a bite for you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm -mm. It's good. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching Life with Mr. D. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy tacos on Tuesday, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.